Hi everyone, this is Teacher Dina and today I will share to you how I make my MPS. Today I will teach you how I quickly put number on this side, how to solve for your total score, how to get your highest score and your lowest score. Mean and MPS will be discussed on my second video. So without further ado, let's go to our empty sheet. But before that, let's have a look on how this formula works. So the lowest score on this on the English area is 1. Let's change it to 2. Let's see what happened. So it automatically gives you the lowest score and also the mean and MPS automatically update itself so let's try in changes in 26 leads let's have it as 23 so the total score changes so about the highest score which is 30 let's change it to 29 uh, there is another 30 in this real time so let's try it let's put it let's put 29 on it so automatically it will give you 29 so without further ado let's go to our empty sheet so the first thing that I will teach you is on how to quickly put number on your cell so the first thing that you must do is to type 1 and 2 just 1 and 2 left click and you must note on this one you must put your cursor on the bottom right of your highlighted cell and wait for this black cross to appear no black cross no numbers to follow so left click cursor down up to the last name of your pupil so mine is just 28 and automatically it will give you numbers from 1 to 28 and it also work for words with number labels example i will put student one here then student two which is change the number to left click then the important thing is the black cross left click cursor down up to the number 28 and to run it will give you words with number labels student one and it also work with girl one girl two if you have anonymous naming so let's now go to our total score so the best way to solve for our total score is the use of auto sum but let's have just equals but I will show you the other way around equals the type sum if you have notebooks there, please take note sum. And then, if you type the word sum, the selection will come out. Just left click. Double left click. It is the same with auto sum. But this one, we're just showing you another way around. So let's click our selection from the last score of our student 28 left click up to the first score of our student one and then click enter that's it it will give you the total score of pupils from English subject and you will not do the same process from other learning areas I will teach you the trick on how to easily put summation formula if you already started it 
so left click just copy highlight all the learning areas you need summation right click and press this one the paste selection the paste special with the word formula and it will give you the summation of different learning areas and it is unique because it copies all the score in different learning areas that's it but changes may occur if you change the score see 11 it will automatically give you the total score you will not use the calculator anymore in the case of number of cases it is because that we have different number of people but in mind I have 28 because I am teaching straight straight teaching I just have 28 so if you want to copy 28 as is to highlight the cells right click and then this one just the value the value will give you the same number when pasting so let's go to the highest score how do we get the highest score on our selection on the scores of our pupils or our students or if we're using pupils it is because that i am an elementary teacher you will use the formula max equals if you have Let's do it again. Equals, no, let's make us equals, M A X. You double left click the word max one two. Then, if you give, the Excel will give you this one. You highlight the score of your pupil in that learning area. Left click on student twenty eight up to student 1 and press enter and you will do the same thing with highest score as what you do on total score you just copy right click copy highlight what will we do pay special formula it will give you all the highest score on the different learning area it just it will just work if you have the same pupils number of pupils but if given the if given different number of pupils you will do different sheet for that because it will not work if there are there will be different student number now that we know highest score let's have lower score if highest score is max we'll use min min equals min double left click the word min again highlight the score from the double left click highlight from 28 up to the student one score enter then you will just right click copy highlight click fx or the form formula and that's it it will give you the lowest score and highest score in different learning areas let's see if it works oh, sorry good morning let's try changing it it then sure and it will give you eight how about the highest score Seven. 30 so that's it thank you for listening and for more tips, I have many tips and strategy to share with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you everyone and let's be safe.